Hi, and welcome back to my journey into microneedling. Ten days ago, I had my second professional in-salon microneedling session with Puhoy Beauty. This session was a little bit more serious. Michelle set the microneedling pen to two millimeter skin penetration, and I have to be honest, it did hurt a bit, even with the numbing cream. On a scale of one to 10, I put the session at about a five. Imagine the same level of discomfort you would experience when you visit a hygienist. Again, not unbearable, but equally not comfortable. However, the session only lasted 15 minutes, so it is a doable treatment. The area on the forehead where the skin is closest to the bone here and here hurt the most. And then the upper lip line um, was a bit sensitive as well. Um, this said, though, the redness um, after the session was not bad at all. I was expecting to look quite raw, but the Medicaid serum is really good. Michelle applied the Medicaid vitamin C and the Hydra Boost serum, and within an hour, all the redness was gone. Now, the same aftercare rules apply. No makeup for 24 hours. So make sure that you book your microneedling session when you know that you've got 24 hours to spare and that you don't have anywhere to be. So, on to the results. Well, Michelle said that I'd start to see the true results from about three weeks on from the session. And this is when the body has done repair work and has started to produce a new collagen. But I have to say, I've noticed some results already. Um, there's a bit more plumpness to the skin, um, and it's more so about the texture. Um, the dullness that you often get in winter just isn't there. The pigmentation has evened out, and there's even just a bit more glow to my skin. So, very happy with the results so far. Um, really looking forward to the final session where things get a bit more serious and Michelle is going to up the microneedling skin penetration to three millimeters. Um, so going to see the results um, in a few weeks time and I'll be happy to share those with you.